I got involved in Skills Canada competitions by my high school automotives teacher. He seen that I had talent and passion for the trade, so he really pushed me towards starting to train and compete in Skills Canada competitions. I think I succeeded at Skills Canada competitions just because of the amount of time and effort that me and all the people that helped me train put into this and just the passion I have for this trade. It doesn't really feel like work most of the time, it's just fun to work on cars. So we had Brandon join us through the registered apprenticeship program in high school, which led to him staying on full time to continue his apprenticeship. The benefits of competing in a Skills Canada competition for high school students like when I started is you get to try out a trade and get challenged in that trade to see if you'd like to make a career out of it. And at the post-secondary level, you get to really challenge yourself and see how you stack up against other apprentices around your province or country. Brandon's probably one of the hardest working guys we have, even right in high school. He knew how to work. The skills I learned through Skills Canada were definitely being a lot more efficient in the workplace and working under huge pressure. So I'm definitely used to it now and there's not too much that scares me in the workplace after doing all of these competitions. Winning gold at uh, Nationals in 2014 was such a huge moment for me and my teacher because we put in so much training and so much time to be able to represent Alberta in my school and get a gold medal in my trade was just surreal. To have him win nationals before even attending first or second year schooling kind of blew everybody's socks off. Competing in World Skills Sao Paulo was the biggest experience of my life so far. Getting to know the other members of Team Canada at all the excursions and team events that we did together is really fun. They're your support when you're in competition, so you make, make a lot of really good friends through there. My advice for future competitors is to have fun along the way and never give up when you're in competition. Anybody can do it as long as they push themselves and really work towards their goals. In the future with Brandon, I'm not sure where he'll end up. The sky's the limit with him.